The West Kelowna Warriors were back on home ice for the first time in 17 days, taking on the Cranbrook Bucks on Saturday night at Royal LePage Place. And it was a tight one between the two teams in a first period that saw Cranbrook outshoot West Kelowna 14 to 10. Some good looks early on in the period, including that great chance for Cal Hughes at the front of the goal. Vigo Nordstrom was vying for his first BC Hockey League goal, put a puck toward the front of the net. Jackson Kier Costas at the side of the goal had that one work just through the crease and past the blocker side of Carter Captain, who was very good on Saturday. Justin Katz not to be outdone, making some solid saves in his second start of the season. But Cranbrook did break the ice, and it came courtesy of a power play, and it was Locke Sodergren who picks up his second second goal of the season at 5.59 of the opening period. Sodergren takes a pass from Bryce Sucro and wires it past the blocker side of Justin Katz. Sodergren from Evan Brown and Sucro on the power play made it a one nothing game for the Bucks Into uh, the later part of the opening period, some more good looks on, on goal for each team. Katz again standing tall in that opening period, making f uh, 13 of the 14 saves he had to make, including getting a little help from his goal post there on that chance for Jaden Fodchuk. As Katz scrambling in the crease, able to find that loose puck on that attempt and was able to dial in some very solid stops as the period wore on. Second period of play, the Warriors came back and looking to try and get themselves on the score sheet. Isaiah Norlam with a good rush toward the front of the net on a puck that just popped up and over the glove side of Carter Captain. And a good look there for the Warriors' leading uh, point getter from the blue line this season. West Kelowna back and with another great opportunity was Kirkostas again who had some good looks here in this hockey game as he had that puck just go off the left pad of the goaltender uh, in Captain. Katz doing an excellent job keeping the puck out of the net once more. This is a period that the Warriors got better in as the game went along. They outshot Cranbrook 15-10, to but the Bucs had a good look here on that chance to the front of the net where Katz was able to get his stick on it and get it out of harm's way. Brennan Nelson, the Warrior captain, a good chance there on that shot and a rebound attempt. Jack Pridham, a sharp angle try that Carter captain again, standing tall for one of his 15 saves from the middle frame in this hockey game. And had to be strong there on Isaiah Norland attempt to keep that puck out. Great chance for Cranbrook, their best of the period that was just floated wide by the forward and Noah Ernest. And another good look on a blocker saved by Justin Katz. Ernest had a couple of good looks in this hockey game too. And Katz did an excellent job to keep that out with a blocker. Final seconds of the second period saw the Warriors with this great chance. Felix Caron had his arms in the air. He thought it was going in the net on a great feed for Brennan Nelson. Nelson couldn't get his stick down in time to get the puck on goal. Third period is where the Warriors really picked up in their game and their bid to try and tie the, the action up. And it was Felix Karam with another good opportunity right off the hop on a shot that just went wide on the glove side of the Bucks goal. Karan from his knees was able to send a puck along to the right side for Simon Hogue who just missed that chance and then on to the goal and the tying marker from Vigo Nordstrom is first in the BC Hockey League. Nordstrom the 20 year old Swedish forward on a give and go with Johannes Lockberg from the right wing side. Nordstrom got the pass back again in the right circle and snapped a shot up and over the blocker side of Carter Captain knocking the water bottle off the goal, he goal uh, over the goal for Nordstrom. It's first in the BC Hockey League at 413. Lockberg and Jackson Kierkostas drew the assists on the marker to make it a 1-1 game and from then on it was an onslaught of chances for the Warriors. A two-on-one look for Cal Hughes later in the period with Caden Kemkaren humble as Hughes elected to keep and shoot. That one stopped. Great chance for Felix Caron again as he tried to outweigh Captain to the backhand. Could not do so. To overtime we go in a 1-1 game and another good look for Nordstrom. He got his first in the BCHL trying to find his second to win the game and a strong stock by Captain to keep that puck out. West Kelowna with another good look on a chance for Jack Pridham from the slot. Pridham's opportunity denied by the glove of the goaltender captain. That kept the game 1-1 into the later stages of overtime. And at 2-14, it's Joseph Blackley, his first in the BCHL that ends the game. Blackley's first from Donovan Frias at 2-14, finds its way to get past Justin Katz on the blocker side on the rebound attempt, and the game ends in favor of Cranbrook. They win it 2-1 in overtime on Saturday night from Royal LePage Place.